Alright, on last time of Dungeons Dragons, Grave of Man, we walked around a secret tunnel. We found, um, we left secret tunnel and uh, we came up here and we talked to dead people and myself. That part was weird. I could see you. Yes. I looked like Charles D'Artagnan, which is apparently small uh, anime girl. Which small? I did not know about. She looked anything but. Excuse me. Charles D'Artagnan anime. Oh. Charles yeah. Charles D'Artagnan. I guess I have no waifu. What do you know? <laughs> Alrighty. So we. Uh, Lady Bird is currently giggling. <laughs> Alrighty. So. Uh, it was cool, but very lore, so there's not much to recap. Just watch the damn thing if you want to. We also got a password from <laughs> Boris. Uh, yes, we got, we got the password from Boris. Uh, just because we're both Russian doesn't mean I know Boris. Don't make assumptions, that's rude. And, uh, now we're out here, so we're going to look around here. Oh yeah, also Skitter got really sad and we made Skitter feel better about himself. I that was, was there, right? <laughs> anyway, excuse me, Skitter. I want to go th open this door. At this point, you were probably large enough you can just literally step over him. Well, that's not good. That's not he, he nice. Was, I'm trying to be trying nicer. To feel even well, no. D and D rules are he small characters courtesy. actually do not block passage. You can always move through their tiles regardless of what size you are, which is really weird. Now, I consider can I it makes sense. Also true. Can I have a good look at these guys? Okay. What's inside their heads? I, are you, like, poking your fingers in there? I'm not poking them in. I'm just looking okay, at them. Okay, it's pretty dim. I mean, they look like statues. I put the mask on. Okay, they look like statues. Hmm, Suddenly everyone cares off. who you are. <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh, my God. Well, no, it's, it's it's so that I can see if oh, there's something <laughs> spectral about them. Um... Well, now I'm afraid I to poke, put my work fingers on in statues. them. Do they look like they're good statues? Uh, I mean, they, they're, they're, suit, they're suits of armor with probably oh. like some kind of internal like skeleton holding them together. I'm not actually sure how uh, suits of armor are held together when they're like you know on display. Yeah, that's a really good question. Because like you'd think they'd normally fall apart. I need to look that up someday. Anyway. My assumption is that they use leather straps and or bolts of yeah. um, something or other. So, until Alrighty, you take I one of these I... things apart, uh, you don't really know how they're held together, but it doesn't look like there's, like, people in there waiting for you. Okay. okay. I guess I'm going to jiggle Jimmy this door handle. Okay, it is uh, it is unlocked. However, uh, it, there's not a whole lot of give. Oh. Huh. Um, as in, does door push inwards or the outwards? Yeah, so the door the door pushes inwards for about half an inch, and then mm -hmm. kind of thuds. Y sort of. There's like a rustling Crunches? sound on the other side, and <gasps> it doesn't move. Uh, my assumption is that it's pushing up against something. I uh, I push the I I push the door into whatever's blocking it and start tapping on door. Does okay. It, listen, is it like humanoid activity sound. rustling sounds or like something Moving. sliding a slightly? Creature? Yeah, oh. stuff sliding. Oh, stuff sliding. Yeah. Okay. So it's not a scuttling or a living. Huh. Anyway, I uh, I I hear I check for hollowness uh sound by tapping against door. Nope. Well, I don't know. It sounds like a door. Okay. Um, we may need to choose different, uh, path to get into this area. Perhaps hmm. we go through another door. Well, is the crack large enough for, say, Dress to fit through if he was in a different form? Uh, yeah, no. Snake Dress could totally get in there. Probably. I am going to run out of abilities to do this. <laughs> this is It's okay, good... we can take long Have rest we tried the other doors point. already? Uh, we haven't tried the one at the end of the hall. We should try literally every other door first. <laughs> I, I kind of agree with the plan. Uh, because okay. Snake Therese is only they useful might, for the one they thing. They might go to the same room. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. 
So, uh, Bird, you're going to try that door? Excuse me. Yes. Yeah, technically it's down one tile. I, I messed up when I made this section because that door should not be so close to the corner. Uh, yeah. So here, I'll, I'll, put a, I'll put a rectangle in uh, just so it's a bit more obvious. That's where the... Uh, no, I'll move it up. <laughs> Actually, in between would be better. Yeah, it's like, it's here. Yeah, that, there we that's go. good. Uh, I am out of sorts. But anyway, uh, so you try the door... And unlike the other one, which had some give, this one has no give. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll... And you can you can see like a a Is it fair painted layer on of... like Wiley e. Coyote. <laughs> no, it, there's a fair layer of like dust and like small bits of rock and masonry that had uh, kind of like shot out from underneath the door jam. Oh, Ew. did did like something a... cave in? Yeah, like mm. a. I can't do it. Whatever. You gotta, you gotta have more <laughs> behind it. There you, you go. You love good. that sound effect, don't you? You keep he doing does. every episode. He, I, his butt powder uh, sound effect is <laughs> one of his favorites. I have two sound effects that I will never get tired of. <laughs> butt sprinkles. <And> <laughs> like a, that's my imitation of kickball. Just poo. <laughs> All right, yeah. Collision with face sound. Okay, <laughs> so Bird, the moment you step where you currently are, I guess Dimitri, the moment you step where you currently all uh -oh. are, there is a loud click. Uh oh. Uh -oh. And uh, you need to make a reflex save. <gasps> is there going to be like an oh, axe no falling problem. from the ceiling? Something weird. I have dexterity okay. of champion. That's also so you, plus three behind You it. step back and uh, between. The uh, the statues, mm -hmm. uh, you couldn't see them. Well, not exactly between the statues, but uh, their their chest plates kind of pop open, not quite chestburster style, Whoa. and just arrows start firing out uh, <laughs> crosswise, ah. and you manage to avoid that. And hilariously, they now look to have shot each other, <laughs> but well, they don't seem to have reacted. Overcomplicated. All right, I guess we'll need to do uh, checks of perception to make sure that we don't step on traps in the future. Is the trap set you mean use for now? Eyes? Can we? Uh, that's what I said. Use eyeballosos. Can we throw a rock onto the platform just to see oh, if? Oh, uh... yeah, sure. Yeah. A big old Dimitri-sized rock. Yeah. I, uh... <laughs> Body slam. Not Dimitri-sized, but at least gnome-sized. That, that I, should I be crouch up to down. Be good. I, I do a uh, slav squat, uh, get my Adidas going, and uh, look at the pressure plate and see if it's been permanently depressed. Nope, like it bird, is. Or uh, as uh, ready as far to go as you again. can tell, the the floor floor is completely flush with itself. Though you don't okay. exactly have a whole lot of experience with uh, trap construction. Are you patchesing? Uh, okay. No. Are you saying I'm trustworthy? He does not. He does not have enough levels in squat uh, to, to pull a full <laughs> patches here. If you guys put a large enough rock or weight on it, we could have them expend all of their arrows, <laughs> rendering them useless. Strength check to push armor over onto the floor. Or that. It is uh, not nearly enough. This thing is not, not bolted to the wall. It actually feels like it's a permanent fixture. Ah. This is permanent fixture. I am not strong enough. Even with bardic inspiration, it would be a very tough ask. <laughs> well, can we press the pressure plates down and see how many arrows we can get rid of out of, like, get out of these guys? Because I step aside. All right. Uh, Did can he... you give Can you give me a sizable rock? Oh, from your yeah, rock sure. bag. I uh, I look at bag of infinite rock and assume that they're all palm sized <laughs> are they all palm sized uh they're they're varying sizes i mean you go out to like a rocky beach that's about the selection you're going with right now okay let's okay. let's throw enough of these onto the pressure plates so that <laughs> it's enough to to equal whatever arbitrary weight requirement it it's true okay. i guess we can always go for quantity over quality okay you you dump a sizable pile of rocks onto the uh the floor and after a small pile is formed, uh, the arrows more or less uh, resume in full force and then 
go for about a full minute, and before Damn. long you have a giant pile of rocks and an equally giant pile of arrows. <laughs> Are they still oh, going strong? And then, maybe after about three minutes and uh, some serious bewilderment, the uh, the final arrow flies. And uh, the t- <laughs> you're not quite sure if it ran out of arrows or if they destroyed each other, because there's not much left of the uh, the armor or the mechanisms. <laughs> My assumption is that we just hear, like, never ending, like, <laughs> like mechanical noise. Yeah, yeah. kind of. They're probably built okay. into the walls. It's more like, <laughs> okay. over and over and over and over again. But, like, layered, like, 20 times over, because there's tons. <laughs> And, and that's why you put arrow traps on alternating walls. There we go. All right, I'll, nothing happens. I attempt to open the door. It is locked. Uh, Skitter? <laughs> I attempt to open door. Okay, you thud your face into it. Uh, okay. Okay. I'll get to work. I'll give you a bardic inspiration. Is that all right? I mean... I, it's not like I really have a choice. I but think. I want to reprise my song. Okay. Okay. Pick the lock, open the door, let us see what lies beyond. And I actually created more verses for this song. So oh I'll my god, you did? It. It? Yeah. Oh, okay, what cool. What treasure may we find? No, 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 no. Hidden deep inside. Do you require a key when a rogue is all you need? And there's Bort, but I won't keep you too long. Okay. (laughs) Uh, Roll your bonus. Oh, yeah. It's an extra die eight. Oh, my gosh. My heart's pounding. I'm sorry. I couldn't continue because I was so scared. I actually singing, have. I actually makes have people nervous. I understand. Two more verses. Yeah, so um, the uh. other day she was trying to sing spooky, scary skeletons uh, because of that uh. like goofy video she found, and by the end of it, she was like screaming and weeping in a corner. Wait, what? No, she spooked herself. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't sing that. What are you talking about? I'm being completely facetious here at your expense. Yes. <laughs> If that wasn't this obvious. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Spooky. Okay. Scary no, when I sing what skeletons. I, you see, Wander can care less, so I sing my heart around here, and it doesn't matter. But I sing in front of a lot of people. I mean, I care because she sings the same verse over and over and hey. over again. Sometimes I can only remember the chorus line, and I'm sorry. Spooky, scary, spooky, scary, I never, spooky, I, scary, spooky. Was it? It was Waltzing Matilda. There was, there was a point where she got Waltzing Matilda stuck in her head, so it was only Waltzing Matilda over and over and over again. Not the full song, just the... Just the waltzing Matilda. And it was funny because I was watching a documentary yeah, anyway. where there were actually bagabongs. So I'm like... <gasps> Billabongs. Anyway. Billabongs. Uh, so Skitter... <laughs> bagabongs. Oh, kings and billabongs. <laughs> uh, so... I can't believe I messed that up. <laughs> so Skitter gets the, uh, gets the door open and uh, on the other side uh, reveals... Here, let me get the priest out of there because he's... I guess technically I can delete him. Yoink! <laughs> well, originally you were supposed to find him when he was alive, but you waited too long. Um, oh. Yeah. Somebody it's died. been a week! <laughs> uh, so anyway, so there is a... Uh, Life a, comes at you fast. A fairly uh, tight spiral staircase that leads upwards. All right, uh... I can walk points, but I don't actually know which direction is up. Uh, to the right. I'll need to work on my spiral staircase. This is actually I the last time I ever make a spiral staircase because they fucking suck. <laughs> actually, can't you just make it you're like almost, dark on one half and you just need shadows. light on the other half? Well, I, I did actually. There is a little shadow. Uh, oh yeah, there. I do see the little shadow. There's a little There's shadow, little shadow and it gets it gets lighter, but I should have had like a really dark section to the left or something on to each step. Marcus. I don't know. That takes a I'm lot ready. of time. Who? Uh, shall we? Shall we go up spiraled staircase? Yeah, let's go. Okay. Actually, See, do we want Skitman to take points in case there are more traps? Wait, why? Can he see them? Can you see them, Skitter? I I can look for them. Um, 
I guess. Or you can, or my, you can come up on shoulder. My perception check uh, checks are about the lowest of the party, so I'm not exactly oh. your trap finder, more like your trap dealer with her. The, you guys seem to have it kind of handled. Oh, okay. Never mind. We just have to Back outsmart the traps. Yeah, his just his let, wisdom just is let metal in the man negatives. Find him with his face. Even with proficiency and perception, his bonus is only one. Is wow. bad. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh yeah, his wisdom must be like seven. It's seven. Yeah. Oh wait, damn. Wait, left isn't the right way. Yeah, it no. is. Uh, wait, right, right to left. It's it's counterclockwise. Oh. Yeah. Oh, the shadow means the opposite of what I thought it meant. Well, it it the higher. Yeah, it's casting a shadow. Okay, let me. Make I have sh- made that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. So you guys come up to the second floor. All right. And you are in a spiral staircase with another door. Yay. I uh, test this handle. Did we go up or down? You went up. You're upstairs. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Locked, uh, unlocked. It is also locked. All and... right, let's just uh, channel the old skit out here. And by that, I mean skit out. Uh oh right I I hit the button I I'm being lazy okay so Skitter <laughs> doesn't actually get the door open he's like uh I think this one actually maybe needs a key I have a number of keys don't they all need keys I uh, well I mean like a specific one oh Let's this see. is one of those plotco locks I get you or I just <laughs> roll little really low and uh for balance sake I only get one roll. It's the, uh, it's the door fair. that gets plot armor. <laughs> I, I don't really know. I don't really know how lock picking rolls should ever work in these because it's like you rolled low on a lock pick. Keep going until you get it right. Like that's why they have. Those I generally in tend games to go they with lock the, picks. And I you tend run to go them. with the rule of uh, first roll is a smile, multiple rolls is a frown. Yeah, mm-hmm. even <laughs> on strength checks. Eladen. Yeah. You have uh, keys. Yes. Yeah, well, the odd thing is, one of them was from the squid mage's bag. I don't really know if that's going to do anything. Oh, uh, what other keys do I have? Weren't weren't there a whole... There were a number of keys, but that was from the train. That's no good. Da-da-da. Yeah, I can only try the, the squid man's key. Can I see if it works? Okay. You can't even get it in the hole. Oh. It not, is. Not, it is not for this door. So the squid man's key, for frame of reference, looks like it belongs in a squid man layer. It's got like, <laughs> it's got tentacles and shit on the like, on the end, and it looks really fancy. And also like, why would anybody ever commission a key like this? Because it doesn't look okay. Okay. Huh. Skitter is going to move back down the staircase so Dress is not breathing down his his neck. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I mean, I I don't want to use the bombs because that's no good. I rub the shiny gear on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, I appreciate that's not a your no. contribution, <laughs> but would you like to try again or? It dress is losing his mind. He's like lovingly <laughs> rubbing this this weird looking gear thing on the <laughs> on the door. Okay. Uh, huh. It is. All right, so Maybe we don't it's like a keys. card reader, like the one that Bird probably uses. Yeah, uh, and the problem well, is we can't really ask anyone downstairs about it because they're dead and gone. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I guess we're out of luck on this one. Well. Well. Uh, we go out more? When I God mean, locks doors, there, he also probably has windows nearby, so we might be able to climb up there. This is a fortress, though. So uh, this the I remember the stained glass goes? window from beforehand. Oh yeah, is this the top stained of the stairs? Stained glass window led to the cathedral you were just in. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Well, Drez climbed up to something, didn't he, earlier? Uh, that was like a bridge? Yeah, he made it up to a drawbridge uh, and Wait. got shot for it. Well, oh. That was later. Uh, no, you got hit by like, an arrow. That was like... You got yeah, hit by an way, arrow. That was way higher than the bridge. No, you you got shot by the arrows when you were uh, reaching the bridge. 
Oh, that was when uh, Dimitri was like getting in my way and I'm trying to climb and he starts throwing my shit around. I don't remember Did, that, but that sounds like didn't something Didn't Dimitri I would do. throw my grappling hook onto the, like the wrong roof or something and I had to go get it? Oh yeah, that was great. Well, I don't have anything but the bomb warps and I'd be loath to use it. Cause... Yeah, this place seems already remarkably unstable. I think blowing stuff up would probably be a bad idea. Let's try to find a key somewhere. I'll go back downstairs. I can always just use my battle axe on it, though. What's it made of? What's the door? Yeah. It, uh, this, this is a uh, stone door. Oh. Yeah, oh, hey, what about the hammer, Skitter? Uh, I could try. Or is that gonna also cause a cave-in? Uh, no. If he aims for the bolts of the door, then maybe. Okay. What would this even be? B for a check. Uh, strength? Probably. Yeah, probably strength. Normally I, I roll decks with his uh, hammer tosses, but strength check, nothing. He like hits it with his all of his might and it kind of shudders. This is a sturdy door. Huh. I guess, uh, can I try with hammer? Uh... So he passes you the hammer, and it pretty much does the Thor thing where it drops on the ground and is really heavy. You're not wearing oh. the dwarven belt. <laughs> ah, wait. Um, I've always wanted to have a beard. Uh, <laughs> wait, uh, you've had uh, a beard uh, before. Um, has, haven't all of your forms had beards? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, I was 100% beard when I was Greg. I think this is the only non-bearded <laughs> version of Dimitri so far. As long oh, yeah. as I... Guys, don't make me paint a bearded Warforged. As like... long as I get the belt it's back, you, ne you, never, thing... you never drew bearded Skitter. I'm going to, okay? <laughs> okay, so Skitter's going to take the uh, the belt off, and almost immediately his beard looks less lustrous. Um, oh, no. Like to ungrow a beard. <laughs> We got to get this back on you, eh, Sid? Does it start <laughs> falling right. out? No, but, I, uh, I mean, it, it loses its, like, manly dwarven sheen. <laughs> if it's beard for, meant for dwarf, I mean, kobold, I mean, Is goblin. just squeezing back into his I face? Assume, I, I assume that I'm supposed to use it like bracelet, yes? <laughs> uh, you notice the skitter had it around his waist, like, two, maybe three times. Oh, okay. It I was... kind of pictured him wearing it like bandolier, but this works as well. No, it was it was more of kind of like a a, a belly wrap, uh, ah. made out of metal. Okay. Um, well, I but... I put on a belt of dwarf and bed history. Okay, How much bigger are dwarves than goblins. I well, they're also pretty rotund. They're well fed. That's kind yes. of a ma <laughs> that's kind of a major sticking point on this. Uh, so you get it on no problem, and almost Im immediately you can lift the hammer. All right. Huh. Huh. Okay. It uh you definitely do some damage um compared to Skitter's like initial hit, but not nearly enough to to smash through the door in any in any kind of major sense. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you you're not adding your your proficiency bonus to that? Um my proficiency it's plus not, five. Are uh, are paladins not profi uh, proficient in wisdom and charisma as paladin? Oh, yes, interesting. So that has plus thirty for my aura of uh, no. That's of this isn't a save. Uh, this is just this is purely checks, uh, no. It's just save. Um, so if you're being affected by something, oh, uh, you're right. It's not, it it's not going to make saves. you. Your 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 aura of might is not going to make it so you can knock down doors better. Um, that, I'm I, drawing I, a line. I've forgotten on that. One. that uh, yeah. Just, uh, sometimes you roll against core stat for save. Sometimes just roll against it for check. Yeah, it made more sense uh, in third edition. In fifth edition, it's kind of weirdly muddy. Anyway, uh, yeah. you do not manage to get through the door. All right. Well, uh, I take and belt the, off uh, and had to throw it back to skit. In fact, uh, you seem to have done, uh, between your previous strength save, Skitter's hit, and your hit, you seem to have done more damage to the uh, the arcway and the ceiling above. Ah! Oh no! So Skitter gladly yeah. puts the belt back on and takes his hammer. What kind well. of key looks... Well, what kind of keyhole is it? Uh, it's a small-ish uh, keyhole. 
It's like it's hard to describe. It looks blocky. Mm-hmm. You can just try putting in any key that you happen to have. Now that I think about it, I think that's the only as, key I have. <laughs> as like a oh. a person that opens locks, that's a very good idea to lose the key and the lock. Eh. Have you ever done that? I accidentally put the wrong key in your like in your uh doorway or whatever? Eh. I did it once in my dorm and we actually had to replace the whole uh the whole lock. Oh, because it got stuck. Yeah, because the key was similar but not quite enough, and then it got stuck in there. And they had to take the doors I... off the hinges and replace it. And then they issued new keys because uh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Well, that is. Ow! Um, I feel like it's never fit before. If you're... The most. I think I fit the wrong key into the mailbox before and it never mattered, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, that is. I guess. Well. Uh, <laughs> you might as well sneaky time it. What could go wrong? Lots. Thank you for asking. I'm going to go with. Uh, something with legs instead of just snake if it fits okay so what are you what are you turning into for the sake of people's imaginations i default default into lizards generally okay what kind of lizard are we going with newt gecko what would fit uh pretty much any anything that's like rat or mouse sized probably then always bearded dragon okay (laughs) because it's the best of dragons Bearded, uh, bearded Dresden gets in, and you find a small room f- lined with bookshelves. So the bookshelves have been raided, as far as you can tell. Oh. Uh, and there's effectively a giant pile of books jammed up against the door. And that's what you were hitting earlier. And this is, huh. this is just books. And the, the sliding, rustling noise was books being kind of dislodged from the pile and falling down. So they're kind of over here. And there's paper everywhere, and uh, like the tables flipped over, and several other things. So it's just a huge amount of books and nothing else. Yeah. At least in this room, there. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I didn't reveal the doorway. There is a doorway. Is the doorway open? No, it is also closed. Is it open a bull? Uh, you try the door, and it is similarly kind of. Stuck. Huh. Though with your space? with your lizardly door opening capabilities, all you really can do is turn the doorknob and then realize the door's not opening for you. Is there space at all? Uh you are going to need um Hmm. You're gonna probably need more strength than what a lizard Yeah. Has, you're you're kind of stuck between uh, a pile of books and a hard place. Because we get we get stuck if I uh, if we if I go into to into my humanoid form again, then clear out all the books, then open the door from behind, but then need to transform to get through this door too, then I won't be able to because I've already done it twice. You could probably move books as a lizard, but how many books? <laughs> yeah, it might be easier for him to set fire to books. <laughs> oh no! No, but that would probably idea. lead to suffocation in that room. Suffocation. And also, I, can't, I also no can't cast breathing. fire as a lizard. Oh. Well, this traps us a little bit. Let's look around the room a little bit. Uh, Investigate. To see if I just okay. if anything stands out generally, besides so book you scoot around and in one of the corners of the bookshelves you see a mouse hole. <gasps> a mouse hole. Yep. Looks probably big enough for you. What could go wrong? What direction's it in? Uh, it is here. I'll I'll draw it and kind of so it's over here, like in the corner, in and the it, it opposite leads corner from the door. There. Yeah. Conveniently in the direction of the door we're trying to go through. Let's okay. Try, let's hold our breath <laughs> as I so go through it's this. It's okay. If go you run into maze. deadly mouse and die, then it's <laughs> and, kind of your fault. Uh, you almost immediately hit a wall, but it looks like there's maybe an area above you. Above me? Yeah. Like I can climb up? 
Uh, yes. Then let's try climbing up. Do I need like some kind of check? Uh, that would be an athletics check to climb or acrobatics if you want to try jumping. Um, I'm better at acrobat. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> so forgetting that you have the warp Jordans on, you more or less send yourself zipping into the ceiling, even with that low roll. Uh, with a kind of lizardly thwack. Roll another one to catch yourself. Another acrobatics check? Yes. You forget about your magical item that gives you huge jumping bonuses, and then you use it. What happens? <laughs> okay, so you managed, you managed to catch a hold of a, a ledge. You were up above. I don't know if it was ever actually specified what Warp Jordans did. You'd never experimented with it, and you never asked Skater to identify him. No. So it. I don't know you how could, you just Skater jump. would even be able to know. At one point, I knocked them together. I said, "I was like, I'm knocking my my Jordans together, and nothing happened." So I'm like, "I don't know. We'll see." Uh, as the great as, investigation there, Sherlock Dick Tracy. Uh, as far as you can tell, you shoot up even higher. What uh, is that? Wait, what? Yeah. It's like a super jump. Anyway. Oh, you're talking about the properties of the shoes. I thought you were saying I'm somehow shooting up higher. Like I'm like, I already hit the ceiling. <laughs> no. no, you are not you're not flying through the ceiling yet. Though you get the feeling that you would pancake if you tried jumping again from where you currently are. Um anyway. Challenge accepted. So you were you're kind of like on a on an area above the doorway. And it looks like there's a path that kind of keeps going. All right, I am literally in the walls. Okay. Continuing forward. Okay, so it kind of goes this way. And <laughs> there's a little there's a little mouse hole uh what the hell? out above one of the statues. And, no. and it turns and it goes this way. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, good. That's not totally as useless. <laughs> <laughs> Do I notice the resin mouse hole? I I didn't go into it. Oh, probably. <laughs> yeah, uh, unless Drez feels like putting his uh his face out. Uh, why wouldn't he want to talk to me? Okay, gee, so, let's let's go down a list. <laughs> so you go He's investigating. You go this way, and it more or less just uh goes around the outside of this room. Whoops, that is too much. Oops, <laughs> you that. showed Forget too much. Uh, well, now we know everything. Yep, you do know everything. Well, uh, our players, yes, but our characters, nigh. Yeah. So you enter into this area. I mean, you were going to find this anyway, because you have two holes, uh, kind of oh, at a yeah. T-split, uh, exiting out into one room uh, to your right and one room to the left. And you can see feet. I can see feet. Yes. On both sides or one side? Only one side. Carol. Do I have you can a, a reasonable feet. understanding of which direction the door was in from where I am now? Uh, you know that there is a door here. So my goal is to open the door. So However, try. Uh, you, if you kind of like peek into this one, you also see a hefty pile of books uh, oh, in your way. Oh, More goody. books. This guy barricaded himself in using nature's least effective barricade. <laughs> am I in the ceiling or am I on top of a no, wall? No, you've actually descended down. You're back down like there was kind of a, a slopage down here that led down to the floor. How did this mouse carve out all that? Uh, there's there's a There looks to be kind of like a spaces between the walls. Like this isn't pure stone. Mm. Um, and there's like, there's pipes and... And ducks there, and stuff like that. Is there like a door around here that connects the two rooms to each other? Uh, from your mouse hole, you can't see one particularly well. You'll have to venture into one or the other rooms to see. So I've so far never found anything that would actually access this other room. Uh, not yet, anyway. Besides the mouse hole. I'm going to go right. Okay. So you discover the room. enter into a smaller library office kind of looking place. Uh, there's a big, big desk and a big, big chair that looks really comfortable. And, you know, the smaller, smaller amount of book bookshelves, smaller amount of books. It looks like it probably would have less give than, um, than the other one. Or more give? 
Oh, yeah, yeah. It would have more give. Uh, so. You think you just pile all these books on the other pile of books to make it a bigger mega pile? <laughs> Increase its power. Oh, there's the door. Yeah. So there is a, there is a door. Let's make this guy feel like a lunatic. Let's let's try opening the door. <laughs> As the lizard. Okay. Yeah. So the door opens inward, and this time instead of hitting a pile of books, there's a very distinctive uh wood on wood thud. Oh. He put and work into this one. You almost immediately <laughs> hear uh clattering and like kind of this weird horrible wheezing sound and the door slams sending you kind of back flying backwards a bit <laughs> so what continues here does he just slam the short door did he just slam you, the door back he, shut he slammed uh you're not sure if he closed the door or whatever but uh, whatever you did was enough to kind of send him into a frenzy and he is currently uh there's like a lot of clattering and banging and you can see the feet moving all over the place. What does he sound like? Does he sound like a deranged zombie doing doing random actions? Or does he sound like somebody desperately trying to stay uh, barricaded? Kind of the midpoint. Um, <laughs> let's peek into this room. Okay. How far do you go in? Okay. I look through the hole. Okay, so it's hard to see because you're directly underneath a uh, a bureau. Like a little dresser. Uh, that has, I'd say, about three, four inches of clearance. Uh, but just enough that you can see his feet moving around as he, like, kind of moves around the room and you see uh, you see him kind of banging off of stuff and, like, almost pushing more over. Um, Does he just look deranged or something? Yeah, he looks very deranged. Let's get her under the bed. Okay. So you get under the bed and you can get a much better look at the room. However, make a uh, stealth check on that. I guess I could just reveal this whole area. Whoa! Okay, so yeah, you are undetected. Unless he rolls <laughs> a... Very nice. Unless this turns into like the dueling nat 20s. Nope, I don't know no, no dueling nat 20s. He got a 7. <laughs> uh, so you have made it underneath the bed, uh, which there's actually a fair number of things underneath there. Potions, books, clothing, socks. There's an inordinate amount of socks down there. Um, <laughs> they look like they kind of comfy, the door. comfy socks. Uh, An but you can number of socks. You can see the uh, this. He almost looks like a knight, except for half of his armor is missing, and like you can see flesh, um, and it's weird and mottled looking, and it it doesn't look like uh any any like person or, or race you've ever seen before. Not that you've really ever given much of a dang before either. Uh, but he is. He is kind of, like, cramming stuff against the side and, like, what's a good example? You know when you have, like, a pile of of stuff and every time you, like, put stuff on the top, it kind of, like, slowly slides down and kind of resets? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. That's what he's doing against the door. Uh, and he's, he's, like, mumbling to himself, but it's it's not intelligible. He's, like, trying, he's like trying to make a sand dune taller. Yeah, he, he really is. And it is just tumbling down around him and he's... He's losing his shit over it. Let's see. I'm just going to do some possible checks to see if any of them I'll dislodge anything. Okay. About what the hell's happening in front of me? Uh, medicine. He's not healthy. Nature. He's not natural. Arcana. You don't know shit. <laughs> <laughs> Very right. well done. Any other insightful <laughs> tidbits you Shut wish to Shut up, you're not here. <laughs> okay. So you said there's what, potions and socks down here, basically? Yeah, it, it looks... Under the bed. It, it, um, if, you, if you take a, a long enough look around, it looks like you may be in a priest's quarters. You know, there's several holy books and... Uh, the socks have like 
you know, fancy, fancy like filigree on them that you generally don't see outside of nobility or the priesthood. Can I make out anything about my surroundings that looks useful or like a thing I'd want from this place or uh, even anything at all? Roll a perception check or an investigate check either or. Okay, uh, so apart from the potions, uh, I mean, it looks like there's a fair amount of useful clutter down there. Um, but that's enough to notice that there is a key ring on this guy's belt. And that oh, he looks of he's got probably it. like the guard captain that Alaren had mentioned earlier. Of course he would have it on him. Yep. He does look don't like have any same. nice, convenient, knock guy unconscious buttons in my spell book the right D &D now. The D&D is surprisingly bad at the whole, like, knock people out quietly thing. I I had charm person once upon a time, but I haven't used it since sleep? that one time. <laughs> sleep is a spell. Not for me right now. Yeah. Uh, doing a quick review of my... Oh. I have... <laughs> In my inventory, I have the uh, the kill hall KO potions, the gray vials. Oh, yeah. I actually do have sleeping potions. Hmm. You but do? What the hell? How long have you had those? Since kill hall. I forgot. AKA about for kill the hall. entire time that Skitter's been a ninja. Wow. I've been now, holding on to KO potions. With those, do you have to just apply a little bit of it to a, a tip or a blade, or do you have to have it ingested? Let's find or... out with medicine check. <laughs> okay. You know fairly conclusively shit's poison, and it knocks you out. Application a little bit beyond your current knowledge of how to poison people. <laughs> I'm currently wondering how quickly a person wakes up, uh, how quickly a person transforms in the D&D &D universe. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it might take up to a minute, right? Is there enough space under the bed for Drez to transform no. or no? No, he's a no. big, he's <laughs> a big lizard man. I was literally googling 5e how yeah there we, there we go how long does it take for a for wild shape transformation <laughs> uh I think isn't it about like an hour per level no how long does it take to transform oh you mean to like shift back and forth I thought it'd be like one action yeah I you could surprise him That'd he be seems more focused on that door right now so you could like get up on the bed and transform and then seduce him or something <laughs> Oh yeah, what you should do is you should get them on the side of the door and just like knock a whole bunch and make scary noises. Just scare the shit out of them. But then he won't be able to is get he back to the Is his head unarmored? Uh, no, he's wearing a helmet. Uh, mostly you can just see that he's missing like some leg armor and like his shoulder pads and that some of the cloth has been torn away. It doesn't look like he got hit by something. Um, but it was a superficial wound. I don't think I have any way of applying it to him. <laughs> Wait, can you... I don't know if you can apply them the same way you do potions where you just, like... Can you just hit somebody with it? Typically with assassin poison, you have to have a sharp edge or... Yeah, I actually don't have... I'm not armed with, with something to make this work as the same way. So probably not the best idea. I mean... You could always get one. You had a spear, but I think I did. I I think Dimitri has it and has had it <laughs> since he picked it up and then never, ever thought about it ever again. Yeah, it sounds like something I'd do. Yeah, actually, I actually have no. Yeah, I have no idea what happened to the pike from the beginning of the campaign. I I genuinely don't know if it's in my inventory anymore because I've never had the reason to use it again. <laughs> Have you attacked with a melee weapon at all? <laughs> once. Like no. This entire game? He attacked with it once, rolled a natural one, and then gave up on it forever. Uh, I can understand doing that. Is he armored? Yes. On his legs? Uh, he is missing a thigh plate 
and all there is is just basic breaches. Is the side with the key armored? Uh, yes. I'm going to try to crawl up his leg. <laughs> okay. In stealth. Okay. So you <laughs> get a to see if I can get the key. Uh, so you're going to need to make a dex save <laughs> to avoid getting stomped on the way in, and then an acrobatics to get up there, and then a <laughs> stealth check <laughs> to avoid it. Okay. Uh, roll the other ones. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, well done, Jacknut. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. So, here's what happens. <laughs> so, I rolled a six, a nat one, and then a nine. So... That's you just statistically uh, impossible, impo- improbable. <laughs> you roll out from underneath impossible. the bed, almost immediately get stomped for. Uh, you take uh, you take two damage as he steps on you. Uh, Do you know how with many a heavy boot. Supposed to have? Uh, I think you've got about sixteen as a lizard, um, just owing to how high of a level you are. Some I don't know. Going to type fourteen um, in Notepad, <laughs> and then you jump, and he more or less just kicks you through the air uh <laughs> and you splat on the ceiling uh cuz your jumps are insane actually no he doesn't even kick you you just go like zipping past him at warp speed <laughs> into the ceiling oh. um and then you fall into his open hand oh no oh no <laughs> he is very much aware of your presence <laughs> though he seems to maybe be having he might be having trouble processing the fact that he just got a lizard present a present i just look at him <laughs> just like yes i am a lizard yes yes we we're gonna play dumb about being a lizard <laughs> i should probably actually roll the damage uh one second so you take uh, you take an additional three for slamming into the ceiling. How much? Uh, <laughs> I want to see if there's bearded dragons for D and D. the problem is you're probably going to get a bearded dragon. Yeah. Okay, lizard. Dragon. Here we go. You have a grand total of uh oh well um so apparently lizards have significantly less HP than I thought they would have. Is it like but a, 10? You have one die four HP. I'd say roll that what? one die four, but uh, that's gone. Even as a lizard form? Like for a druid? I you, uh, The rules are for wild shape in 5th edition. You just get the stats of it, correct? I haven't looked into it because in 3rd edition they're broken. You'd still keep a lot of your stats. You just yeah, switch your hit die. You, it looks like you get you can transform into any creature based on a cha- their challenge rating. Okay, your game statistics are replaced by the statistics of the beast. You retain wow. all of your skill and savings throw proficiencies. Oh, when you transform you assume the beast's hit points and hit dice. So yes, you have you have one die four HP as your base HP. So he doesn't get a lizard present; he gets a lizard present. So <laughs> well, you, does does my constitution modifier affect it? I don't it, no, because you're assuming a new physical form. You keep your mental statistics, but your physical are replaced right. with that of the lizards. When you get knocked out, wouldn't he just turn back into his yeah. normal form? So exactly. Uh, so what's exactly. happened does is you are sitting. I- uh, in so his I swam arms. into the ceiling and then get KO'd into normal dress form and then land on top of Yeah, him. so he is he is currently holding you, you princess style. You what? technically and you are looking like at a... you are looking at him dreamily, uh, but it might just be the concussion. I feel like I should have taken him out with a wrestling move just now. Yeah, but you rolled a natural one. If you'd done a nat twenty to to uh to sky drop him, I would have given it to you, but you rolled a nat one. You are now uh, very uh, roll roll to woo uh, an insane knight guard captain. What? All right, he is he is certifiably wooed. What? How is that even an option? 
option. No, mostly he's just bewildered. Um, <laughs> he just caught a very charismatic lizard man. He did. Arms. You give him a disarming like um, bugs rabbits. <laughs> you uh, you you give him a disarming <laughs> smile and flash him your your uh, cerulean blue eyes, and he unceremoniously <laughs> dumps you on the bed, flips out, and roll for initiative. <gasps> Eh, uh, hello, doctor. <laughs> okay. This is the the best mess. So, uh, he is very loud. Uh, let me roll for him. Well, meanwhile, we're out in the hallway. <laughs> we're just hearing. He's ah! very loud. So, ah! what you guys hear is a a a faint thud, followed by a louder thud, followed by another thud, and then screaming from the other side of <laughs> the wall. Oh, no. Well, looks like Drez dressed it again. <laughs> that could be a thing from now on, right? Dressing it? Yeah, no. <laughs> I, I don't think I've seen another player sabotage himself this hardcore since... Oh, wait, Greg. Uh, Greg. Yeah. <laughs> Doing anything. Gotcha. I was going to say, he hurt himself with a barrel in our first like, room we walked into. <laughs> Yeah, you guys have the worst luck. The and then, moment, and then somebody uh, stopped watching because he accused us of fake laughing at that part. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> that's their that's their loss. <laughs> okay. All my life. Dimitri was fake. losing a fight against a barrel in like the first adventure. <laughs> okay, so Alarin, Dimitri, and of course Skitter, you guys also roll initiative because oh. I assume you're probably going to want to do stuff, and we'll just fit you into the turn order. We can't even what? get in How? though. I can't get in there. Well. You, you hear noises, so if you want to just sit around, I can remove you from the turn <laughs> order if you want. Well, the problem is we're just going to have to battle the door. I don't... Wait, initiative. Yeah. What am I doing? Roll, uh, rolling uh, a die 20. Initi ah, that's even worse. Oh, that got way worse. <laughs> Wait. What is your dexterity mod? It's not factoring in her, her dexterity at all. Oh, in really? In fact, I, I, I should probably reiterate this. You guys might want to stop using that uh, that character sheet for initiative rolls because it lies. Should I just roll dex then? No, add your dex modifier to your original ro roll of five, and that'll be your initiative. Uh, okay, then that'll be eight. Rolling dex works unless you're proficient in dex, in which case you get bonus points that break at the roll. Yeah, but uh, initiative does not count as. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, what's yeah. Keith, what's your what's your dexterity modifier? I've got two. Okay, so you're up to fifteen, and then Dimitri, uh, what's your what's your dex bird? Oh, um, we're not using the roll that I did. That's fine. No, no, no. Uh, Have you not been listening? Fourteen. It's uh okay. So uh, to reiterate, bird, seeing as you were checked out, uh, your dexterity is not factored into that initiative roll. Mm. Um, because I think the calculation. So I would have two then, I guess. Is what you're saying? I guess initiative is broken. Yeah, you would have had a twenty-one. Not a okay. What ifs? Not a ver not a nineteen. It, it just kind of matters. Okay, and okay. what's what's the crazy get? Right, the crazy gets three. So, uh, <laughs> crazy. So, Shell, what was your what was your <laughs> eight? Okay. If you're doing five yeah. plus three. Okay, there you go. So, Dimitri, you get to go first. There's screaming and thudding from the uh, other side of the the door wall. I'll show you thudding. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you, yep, you, you Kool Aid man, straight through the pile of books. Uh, you kind of <laughs> slide, surf your way through, uh, in a pile of <laughs> take that knowledge. Yeah, in a pile of papers and education, which you so thoroughly spurn. Mm -hmm. Okay, Drez, it's your turn. There's a screaming man in front of you who is freaking out over his uh, <laughs> his. Damsel in distress not being quite up to spec <laughs> or something. I thought that they were humunculi. Why, what would they care about appearances? I mean, nobody's tried Who's to Captain? communicate he with him why he's so soul. upset. Well, he he was able to talk, so yeah. This is a mess. Okay, um... I'm going to try saying wait. Okay. That's it? You just say wait? 
and he's trying to negotiate. <laughs> okay. I guess the most fitting attempt to do is a persuasion check. Yeah, make a persuasion to check to, to, to calm to a man that is losing his shit. Fuck, you failed miserably. He is. Wait, you said like, you said losing his shit before I even rolled. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, he was losing his shit the moment you uh, messed with his door. Then you landed no. in his arms. What do you think's gonna happen? <laughs> so he is. Uh, he's not losing his shit any more than he was, but he's very much <laughs> losing his shit in, in a very non uh, diplomacy style of uh, situation. So you still have an action. I'll I'll make that your move. Trying to get him to wait. Oh boy. Oh boy. Too bad I don't have frightful presence anymore. <laughs> You're in pretty I'm close quarters, dragon. too. We're in very close quarters. That's not a terrible idea. Except for the part where he's in the middle of the room. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, maybe I could uh, entangle him. <laughs> Even though he's positioned in a way where he'd be able to reach me no matter what. Oh, no, Entangle actually restrains you, like not just stop you from moving. Yeah, I'm going to try and casting Entangle. Okay. Which I've never cast before. Oh, there's no macro for it. Okay. Um. Yeah. Grasping weeds and vines sprout from the ground in a 20-foot square starting from a point of within range. Can you do, wait, can you do this in indoors? <laughs> um. I don't know if this works at all. There's no ground. So it probably doesn't count. I mean, there's dirt below the stone, I suppose. I I mean, it's magic. Let's start it with that. It is magic, because imagine yeah. if there were just no seeds available. So, in a, here's, an here's the ruling. Entangle works anywhere as long as it isn't just straight up fire or lava. Uh, but if you <laughs> use it in an overgrown area, you get a bonus. Okay. Um... So you can you can use it whatever, wherever you want, but uh, uh, tactical usage, uh, your mileage will vary based on the environment. Um, so anyway, so basically, a twenty foot square is going to become difficult terrain, and he needs to do a strength saving throw in order to not be restrained. Yep. And then if he does get restrained, he can do a, a, a another one to free himself. Gotcha. Okay, well, it's not his turn yet. Skitter is going to run into the room and make a really, really sad strength check to see if he can blast down the door. Oh! <laughs> the second door? Oh, Jesus! Aww. He's gonna go sit on this table. <laughs> he's gonna kind of kick his legs. Kind of. Here, he's gonna, he's gonna do one more thing. Um... He, uh, you don't see him anymore. Oh. He's hiding behind the table. Anyway. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Jesus, Al that stealth check. Alaren, it's your turn. Okay. That's one, two, three, four, five. I can only go six squares, though, right? Uh, yeah. So that pretty much puts me there. Okay. Only six square. Oh, because it's difficult terrain? Because of the books? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I see. I could go farther, right? No, that would be 30 feet. I think that's as far as she goes. Yeah. yeah. Where did she start? I started... Uh, outside the door. Yeah, next to one of the statues. Up here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, if I included... I don't really know how it works. You should be able to the... reach the door because of diagonals. Yeah, you can get in front of the door because of diagonals. Okay, but I can't really do anything with the door. I don't want to get in Dimitri's way because he might smash through that one too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you just get there. And uh, Freak Show is going to fail. He is uh, currently restrained. So you have... Uh, you have... <laughs> Your ploy for bondage has succeeded. <laughs> I'm just on his bed and restraining him. This is don't read into this. <laughs> Good lord, it's Skitter. I mean, no. 
I'm gonna try to reach for the key. Well, no, it's Dimitri. It's Dimitri's turn. Oh, yeah. So. Uh... Okay. Yep. <laughs> this one's easier. You plow right through. Wow, that would have simplified all of this. <laughs> yeah. Drez, you hear just roaring and smashing outside the room you're in. This has to make it very, very hard at my attempts to calm this dude down. <laughs> he is flipping shit. He's already like, been restrained. I think you've already explosions are happening. No return. Yep. Okay, Drez, now it's your turn. I'm going to try to reach for the keys. Okay, you get the keys because he's completely restrained. Uh, he is at calm? your mercy. Are we calm? No. <laughs> As I, like, cross the room. <laughs> okay, so you kind of, like, climb over the, the small dresser. I'm literally, like, not attacking him. You climb over the dresser onto the, uh... This is, like, super difficult terrain. Not only is there, like, vines and shit growing out of everything, but also, like... Before that, this was difficult terrain, so this is, like, double jeopardy, can't move. Uh, I think I'm literally immune to difficult terrain. Uh... As a druid. Let's see. Let me... I think that's... Land stride. Yeah, any non-magical difficult terrain doesn't apply well, to Well, this me. is magical difficult terrain. What? The really? books are magic? No, the... the entangle. Wait, does my spell affect me for difficult terrain? I guess... A Magical, difficult terrain, I... Maybe? Let's see. That, it doesn't say that you're immune to it. Is a druid affected by his own difficult terrain? <laughs> it seems That's like... That's what the theory like, crafting like, today, today. I, wanna, I could go... Like this is, the this is literally not theory crafting. This is just trying to answer... This is definitely not dragons. theory crafting. This is definitely just trying to answer questions about the scenario. <laughs> It'd be theory crafting if I did all the stuff before I did it. <laughs> I'm already in the situation. I'm trying to answer the question. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, it works on allies, but does it work on... The caster? Yeah. I mean, I can. I am very much going to just say, no, it doesn't, because, I mean, it's just like entangling roots and you're a druid. Oh, wait, no, here we are. Yes, it does, and it also traps you. Woodland Stride doesn't help. Thorns, briars, and overgrown areas that have been magically manipulated to impede motion, however, still affect you. Um, admittedly, that's from 3rd edition, but I can't imagine that that's changed without a specific mention. So, this is... Yep, alright. We'll go with... Uh, it's kind of inconvenient crossing the room, but whatever. It's not like it really matters here. And I did make them. Yeah. I control them, supposedly. Well, no, you made them. You're not controlling them anymore. It's kind of like a leave it and forget it, except for leave it and then mildly regret it. <laughs> Set it and forget it. Yeah. So now you're standing on a pile of uh, detritus that has <laughs> vines and shit growing out of it. Ah, uh, yeah. This is a mess. Okay. It's about to get much worse when I burst through the door. That was an action and a movement, so I think that's my turn. Yeah, Skitter, oh, no. Skitter is suffi suffering a uh, demoralization penalty, so he's just hiding behind Dimitri that table. Dimitri might have heard my voice. Uh, Alaren, it's your turn. Okay. Let's that see. might be a perception One, check two, on his turn. Three, four, five. I'm going to... I was literally just I'm speaking gonna get in front behind of the door he's going to attack. Dimitri and wait for him to, to potentially charge through the door. Okay. Though that desk looks rather interesting. I'll wait until after the <laughs> combat has subsided, though. Uh, let's see. Okay, and then it's uh, Horror Man, who is going to struggle and fail. Damn. A three and then a two. What's next? A one? At that point, he'll just give up or something. I don't know. <laughs> he just anyway, explodes. Dimitri. Countdown complete. <laughs> Dimitri, it's your turn. Do we do want I to do a perception? Anything? You get to make a perception check to hear Drez saying anything over the uh, shrieking in the other room. <laughs> low, 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 low. <laughs> ah! No! Oh my God. <laughs> you are perfectly aware that Drez actually has grabbed the keys and is now um, it, with, with your acute... Uh, very, very temporary echolocation. You know exactly the layout of the the other room. <laughs> <laughs> and what is going on inside of it. <laughs> A perfect net. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Of course. Well then. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I turn to Alarin and say our business is concluded, and then calmly leave the room. Uh... <laughs> I'm just afraid unless our business is not concluded, and I get attacked next turn. Dress, are you okay? Uh, it's actually it's Dress's it's turn. Not time. Oh, it's not my turn. Oh well, I will say that <laughs> wow. if he gets out. Oh man. I love how I love how just in general you guys only get nat twenties when you very much don't need them, and it has the best worst timing ever. I am spending my turn trying to like clear shit. Okay, to open the door. Uh, make a make a strength check. <laughs> Why is it negative? Oh. I'm in lizard mode. Oh, your your stats second. are messed up. I see. There's my pre. I have screenshots of my old character. Let's see. So my actual stat was 16, not six. I used to have a good mod. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> so oh, man, you uh. Um, you dig through those bugs. Yeah. So you you swim through the pile of junk, open the door, and exit the room, and try to slam it behind me. <laughs> Which you do with ease. Almost like it wasn't even there. Quick, the desk. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I was going to check that out. What was going on in there? <laughs> How much time? We don't have time, we don't have time to talk because it's common. No, there is still shrieking right? in the other room. Though yeah. it is actually quieted down substantially. The one command was pretty much the one thing I could get out. <laughs> Okay, so I like how Dimitri just left. Skitter Skitter is still uh skill still demoralized for the time being. Alaran, it's your turn. Uh who was in there, Drez? I'm asking. I don't know, but I have the keys. No, but what did he look like? A tumor in a can. So he was a knight? I'm from the swamp. I, I, I put on my, my soldier outfit. <laughs> uh, that is going to take actual minutes. Oh. Yeah, that's going to take like 10 turns. Same like Divinity where you double click on your character uh, suddenly wearing different clothing. Yeah, you can't hot swap armor in if, combat. If you had the ring of uh, the wardrobe ring on. Ah! No, I know. I know. Um, But we're still technically in combat, aren't we? Yeah, which is why you can't just switch clothing unless you have the ring. But he's calmed down. No, he's still screaming, just less. Um, can I... Confused screaming? <laughs> can I Can I put on the voice that I used when I was but a young lad enlisting in the, in the service of I mean, the, you, the fortress? You likely don't understand anything that's happening. That's why I was asking you about what he looked like. I don't know. I, my character doesn't have the knowledge to know what you're talking about necessarily. I don't think. Oh, remember when I talked with the captain and he wasn't there. Oh, was it only Greg and Skitter that would witness me do that? Only Skitter was there. Well, only Skitter was there, but you guys saw them. You no. were off on your adventure. Yeah, so the exact around. the exact uh, events I were. Think I was dealing with like an unconscious Greg. Yeah, at that point. Greg got knocked out by the uh, wave of homunculi, uh, and he was out cold for a while. You decided to go and scouting. And as a swamp tribe person, I'm electing that I probably don't even know knights <laughs> as a thing very well. Yeah. Uh, so uh, he has no idea that you would know maybe who this guy is. So I don't even wear clothes. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Armor doesn't make sense to you. Why wear armor when you have the... Uh... When you can just grow your own. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, that, that limits things. <laughs> I've got things. that non-GMO armor. Because... <laughs> I oh, want to search on. this desk, but <laughs> there's also a crazy, like, as far as I know, individual 
that I'm not familiar with on the other side of that door. You only need access to one side of a desk to search it. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll search the desk. Okay, make an investigation check. It's definitely not what Drez meant. <laughs> <laughs> you like the desk. The desk. Yeah. I know what I what the it. hell? <laughs> we believe. I know, what? So I know all, all the contents of, of the desk. <laughs> all, all three of us have made consecutive nat 20 okay. uh, checks between perception so, and And it doesn't and matter. This is pointless. Yeah, like I said, you guys can Star roll Wars nat knowledge. 20s whenever yeah. it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> If you guys are in life to life or death, it's all that ones. It's all just like horrible, horrible, awful. Oh That's my god. Um <laughs> let's see. So you find a bunch of shit, uh, including a secret uh secret two secret compartments, a secret compartment within a secret compartment oh. uh that looks like it hasn't been opened in nearly uh, uh maybe a couple hundred years maybe hundred. longer yeah but you don't really have time to do this because you're technically in the middle of combat and you more or less just like turbo uh turbo loot a desk uh faster than <laughs> anybody has ever looted a desk before and sifted through secrets you just did like the equivalent of like the cartoon thing where like something falls into water and then piranhas just yeah into a skeleton no. instantaneously all, all of the drawers are in like a neat pile elsewhere uh, cleaned out and like thoroughly searched. Even the one that was a puzzle box. Yeah, no, there was <laughs> there was there was some ancient dwarvish, and you just blitzed through that. You you guessed the combo password what? turned out to be one but two three four five. But most importantly, five. the table the door is very much not barricaded with the yeah, desk. <laughs> that's the more important part. Uh, and so there was dwarvish. Well, there was dwarvish. <laughs> okay, just joking. you still hear the shrieking there. inside and th and kind of thrashing and maybe some other noises, but that guy is not leaving. Dimitri, it's your turn. <laughs> he got a lot closer. Uh, Skitter, whatever you are, it's time to go. Okay, let's go. <laughs> He's just leaving. Drez, it's your turn. No, you are the only one that knows that there's an insane man in the other room, apparently. God damn it, I, I am going I'm going to barricade him. this goddamn door. Oh my god. <laughs> so you just shove the desk over real quick, Jamie. <laughs> and I am leaving. We are leaving. Uh, okay. <laughs> I am on such a low layer in my, my character. Like I'm, I'm, re I'm rendering under everything that's ever on the map. Yeah, all the draw drawings are. Um, I think you can still move your character underneath those drawings. I can't pick you up and move you. That went gloriously poorly and then gloriously well. <laughs> I, I don't. That was all extremes. We went from eh. lowest possible numbers to highest possible numbers, and no one there. There's the in between, I guess. I yeah, I don't see the mouse hole. Ooh, boy. So I... Okay, yeah. You um, you exit the uh the priest chambers, library, office, everything. Uh, close the doors behind you, and well, the screaming are there any slowly books that stand fades. Out to me? I not with that investigation check. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god. D and D is combat over. I, uh, as far as you're concerned, yes. So what did I find in the desk? <laughs> you guys just that was the most ridiculous set of rolls you could have ever hoped for. Yeah, yeah. Huh. And tangle spell and no helped one took a lot damage. too. Yeah, no, that was p perfectly bloodless combat, and you now have locked a uh, a man <laughs> losing his mind in a very small uh, fifteen by fifteen foot room for the rest of his conceivable life. Okay, uh, it's, eh, so what was what was we'll in the eventually desk? Get it open. It's just a desk. True. Uh, and the entanglement only lasts a minute, <laughs> so we should leave. Okay, so you guys, uh, you guys have your keys. Shell has a uh, a bag full of goodies that we can go over later. None of them seem immediately <laughs> applicable. 
I have keys. We should leave. That only lasts a little while. Oh, okay, but... All right, you don't need to tell me twice. What was he? Broom, broom, broom. Never mind. <laughs> he is not going to tell us. He also goes the wrong way up spiral stairs. <laughs> he put the shadow on the left. Okay. That's how stairs work, is that that makes that the stairs. I will... I, I was trying to show He was trying to was know like that the... there's actually a shadow cast on oh, it. Oh man, the I'm going up so many sta- I'm going up so many floors. Okay. So <laughs> you guys you guys make it upstairs. Technically you do have to go around like three three times. Wait, this but this one looks though. like that this is a lower one. Going up to the high one. Yeah, I forgot to flip it around. That's the I think I'm just right. The opposite <laughs> way though. Shh. It's okay. There's just a really wibbly wobbly part where it just weaves onto itself and changes direction. <laughs> oh man, that'd be hard to figure out how to draw. Anyway, key and hole. <laughs> let's see if this works. It works perfectly. You guys have grabbed the uh Presto, let's never speak of this again. You guys have grabbed the guard commander's uh keys. So you enter into a room that is it You sound really far away. Sorry, I've moved my mic away so I could write some notes. Because otherwise I was going to biff it with a pen. I've got it. I'm in the right spot now, sort of. Okay, there we go. Uh, so you guys you guys kind of enter out into this. Oh, you guys, uh, can you see it or is the line of sight screwing with it? No, you can see it. We okay. can see it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We can see it. Uh, so you guys enter out into a room that looks like it has sustained pretty heavy damage. It might have once been like a, not a, a meeting room, but kind of like an entry hall for a bunch of different locations. A foyer. Uh, yeah, yeah, sort of. A foyer. A foyer. <laughs> foyer. Oh, we're still down there, by the way. <laughs> what? Our other oh. copy of our oh. characters is still there. Are you? There. Okay. You have yeah. a short, Quit. disorienting moment oh. of uh, of realizing that you are not in two places yeah, at once. You are not in the right location, <laughs> and it confuses. Oh no! It is like the soma. Yeah. You 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 get soma up soma? for like two bits, and then you de soma, <laughs> and then you're good. Oh, it's like songs by your streaks band from the 2000s. <laughs> oh, I mean the strokes. Sorry. I was wearing a stroke shirt yesterday. <laughs> Cute. All right. Street sharks. Whoa, they're awesome. They bite. They <laughs> what? bite. What? Do, 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 no, I don't think they bite. did the street sharks theme. <laughs> That's the street sharks it theme. It would have a lot more guitar and a lot do more you... like, oh, hey, she has street no... sharks. She has an... Gotta be the street sharks. We're Is talking about the band The Strokes. Yeah, but then you were talking about streaks, and I was thinking of streaks, the street shark. Yeah, so we have Dodd. Six degrees of Michelle. I inspect the. Oh, hell no. Okay. <laughs> oh. And the red borders return. <laughs> so, Dimitri, oh you climb over what? into this pile of debris and slowly kind of like pile it on top of yourself. And by the end of it, you're just a cute little Warforged head sticking out of a comfortable pile of uh, ceiling detritus. It looks cute. I think oh, it's hello! <laughs> I have met with the fortress! Come join! Uh... It's the Fortress of safety Oh, so where's Skitter? Skitter! It's the Fortress of safety Sorry, I'm busy writing notes on a notebook, so I know what's in your loot bag. <laughs> Wait, in my loot bag? <laughs> I, I can't control Skitter while I'm writing down uh, what's supposed to be in that bag, because... My so I have a I you have a Google peaking, doc. Are you Skitter? I have a Google Doc to my <laughs> right, and it is in bold priest's desk blank, <laughs> followed by a sub <laughs> sub uh, meter secret compartment blank, followed by second secret compartment blank. All the compartments. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. A doodles. Yeah. I uh. I apparently missed girl, that. Lauren? I you broke God. Whoopsie. I I, <laughs> I was moving the loot around uh, to account uh, account for everything because I designed this whole area before you guys died. You found a four and then came four back. Reality. And so I moved some of the gear around to account for you guys being higher level and needing different things or already having different stuff because I repurposed some things. And I uh, forgot to fill in the blanks, so I don't actually know what's okay. in there. Okay, I'm well, working on it. I'll try the door. Is, is, are they locked? So you, you like to you like to use that one word, so I gotta tell you, it's it's detritus. <laughs> it, I definitely think it's detritus. It is very much detritus. Yep. I, I looked it up to be sure. 
I'm going to look it up too. The problem <laughs> is if something ends with an itis, it just sounds like a, Wait, a disease. Wait, what the hell? Did you, did you think it was det detritus too? Yeah, I don't know. I see two pronunciations way. detritus and detritus. Oh. One is uh, Latin it and one is right. It is detritus. What the fuck? <laughs> no, I know no, it from no. Audi there's, I know there's it from audio books. <laughs> there's two pronunciations. Wait, no, there's just one. What? <laughs> what? Yeah, it's like gift. Ladybird. How do you pronounce the? Um, <laughs> I've never this heard. Word. I've never heard detritus, detritus? until this this uh, what? campaign. <laughs> How does everyone I... know the pronunciation? Wait, but she, yay, but she kept Lady Bird's us. right. <laughs> what? I don't know. Huh. huh. <laughs> Any I thought I could ruin everybody with the Mandela effect. Detritus, detritus. I'm in detritus. <laughs> Well, it's like well, how we're I, all arguing about I, I guess versus Aegis versus... Uh, next we discover Aegis. it's not Dimitri, it's Dimitri. <laughs> Dimitri? Well, Dimitri. You, Dimitri. Dimitri. Well, you guys always Dimitri call cocktail. Alarin Alarin, and I think that's weird. I pronounce it Alarin. Well, that, that's also a made-up name. Or so we had to guess it first until we heard it a bunch. Alarin. Yes. Yeah. That's anyway. normal because it's not a real word. <laughs> anyway, I think. No, it isn't. Anyway, I so climb anyway. out of the trite. No, you are in there until uh, somebody does oh. something. You are comfortable. <laughs> it's like that box. You found your new box. You like the oh my god. You like the warm claustrophobia of junk. So did he? Did he actually try the door? No, no. He got very distracted. Let's go close by, the door. He 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 got very distracted by uh by making a rubble angel. <laughs> Let's approach but the door. Is, it turns out Dimitri was angel all along. Let's approach the door, but before I open it, we'll try investigation. Okay. Just in case it's like it's a, a door. death trap door. Okay. Uh, Let's open the door. Okay. okay. So you open the door Surprise, without knocking. Death trap. <laughs> And yeah, uno segundo por favor. I must very specifically without knocking ever. Yeah, that for Greg is dead. Yeah, I mean Greg is dead. dead. <laughs> that that whole thing is dropped off. Though Dimitri was the, the one the character trait of a dead man. No, no, Dimitri was the one that knocked. Uh, Greg was no, the one that it, that can didn't. It, can anyone really know for sure? Yeah. The problem is they both did things. I, in I their kind of took places. all the personal. I kind of took the personality traits of the two of them and shuffled them in an RNG. And so our party makes it uh, deeper, or higher, really, into the uh, the old Fort Zagnoth, or, you know, I guess it used to be a dwarven keep, if that wasn't immediately obvious by all the hints I left behind. Uh, but so they make their way upward, so they can eventually make their way to the new keep, past traps and treachery and uh, crazy weird genetic experiments and, well, all sorts of other stuff. But uh, what awaits them in the main building? Why Why are they even here? Well, I don't know. Find out next time on the next episode of Dungeons & Dragons, Grave of Man.